A long time ago, something big and mysterious happened across North America. Huge animals, including wild horses and other large creatures, suddenly disappeared. What happened to them and how did they get back to America? Horses first appeared in North America more than 55 million years ago. Back then, they were much smaller, some as tiny as small dogs. Over time, they changed to survive in different environments and weather. For example, their teeth evolved to eat tougher grass instead of soft, tropical plants. About 11,700 years ago, during a time called the Pleistocene era, many large animals in North America, like mammoths, saber-toothed cats, and early horses, disappeared. This event is known as the Quaternary Extinction Event. Scientists still argue about why this happened, with ideas ranging from changes in the climate to early humans hunting these animals too much. For thousands of years after this, there were no horses in the Americas. The people living there built their societies and cultures without horses, using other methods for travel and work, like dogs or carrying things themselves. Horses came back to the Americas because of European explorers and colonizers in the late 15th and 16th centuries. Famous explorers like Christopher Columbus and conquerors like Hernán Cortés brought many things from Europe, including horses, which weren't originally from the Americas. The return of horses had a big impact on the native people in the Americas. For Native American tribes, especially those in the Great Plains of North America, horses changed the way they traveled, hunted, and fought in battles. Travel and trade became faster and easier. Hunting improved as they could chase bigger animals more effectively. In battles, horses gave them an edge with their speed and mobility. The reintroduction of horses is a part of what's called the Columbian Exchange. This was a big exchange of animals, plants, culture, people, technology, diseases, and ideas between the Americas and the rest of the world after Columbus's voyage in 1492. This exchange changed the world in many ways, affecting farming, societies, and cultures, and marking the start of a new chapter in human history with more global connections and the mixing of different worlds.